So in a poll on Facebook, we asked what Tim Tams people preferred. We put up three flavours and everyone chose the chewy caramel ones. So had a look online, found the Tim Tam Slam. I'm sure you all know about that, but if not, we'll talk about it later. But for now, let's check this out. I want a packet of Tim Tams that never runs out. You have two wishes left. Then we'll have two more of those. And it's Tim Tam. What more could you want? Right, so now we're gonna take one of these chewy caramels. It's not a penguin. And let's try this Tim Tam Slam. It just explodes in your mouth, it's great. The chewy caramel one, I think that's a good choice. Obviously I've never had these other two, so Maybe we'll try that after. Now that I'm all loaded up with chewy caramel Tim Tam, I had these years ago, but they're really difficult to get over in the UK. I mean, I think these ones cost about eight pounds a pack to get them here, so, you know, it's not really an everyday purchase. But everyone voted for the chewy caramel version, which is these. Um, caramel, gooey caramel through the middle, chocolate cream, biscuit, chocolate coated, great. I just didn't want to stop there. I actually wanted to make some of the other flavors. So today I'm gonna to make three different ice creams. Lots of split screen, lots of, you know, fancy kind of video editing that we're gonna try. But I'm really looking forward to these coffee ones. I mean, let's be fair, the salted caramel ones, they're not gonna be disgusting. So it's gonna be a complicated one, stick around. We'll show you how everything's done. So we're gonna start with the chewy caramel Tim Tam base, where you're gonna add your milk and most of your sugar into that. Give it a nice little stir so that the sugar dissolves properly. Then add in your milk powder. This actually isn't a particularly good one. It doesn't dissolve very easily, but hopefully yours is a bit better than this. Then I'm using powdered dolce de leche here, but if you haven't got that or you can't get it, just use normal wet dolce de leche and add that to your mix. Get it nicely combined. And here I'm adding the last of the sugars with the stabilizer in it. Get that up to the temperature required for your chosen stabilizer. When it's ready, remove it from the pan, put it in a container, and here we're gonna add in our cream, which will bring the temperature down nice and quickly before we look at moving on to our next ice cream base. This one is the Dimbula coffee. So we're gonna take our beans and get them nicely chopped up, add them into our milk on the hob, warm it up gently and let it sit there for about half an hour so that flavor really infuses into the milk. At that stage, you can take it off and strain it through a cheesecloth or a really fine sieve, get all those little bits out. Make sure you get all the last little bit of yummy coffee milk out of there. Once you've got all of that done and strained, add that coffee milk back to the pan. Now here, we're gonna add in our corn syrup. You can add golden syrup, which is what I use here, and all of our sugars. This includes the dark brown sugar. That adds a lovely bit of caramelization and really enhances that coffee flavor. Give it a nice stir, and again, in goes the skimmed milk powder. Get it nicely combined and make sure there's no more lumps left. At that point, again, take it off the heat, Add in your cream, again, to bring that temperature down nice and quickly, and put that one in the fridge. And finally, we're gonna move on to the Murray River salted caramel base. Now again, in with the milk into your pan. Here we're gonna add our sugars, our single egg yolk, give it a nice stir, and this is the point that we're gonna add our previously made caramel. 
Now that comes next in the video, so hold fire and we'll show you how to make that. Add it to your base and get it nicely dissolved. It might take a minute or two depending on how hot or cold your caramel is. Once it's stirred and well combined, add in your milk powder. Give that a really nice stir, make sure it's all lovely and smooth and there's no lumps. Now here is where I've added just a touch too much salt for most people, it's fine for me. I've adjusted the recipe below so you get a really nice punch of salt but not overpoweringly so. When that's ready, take it off the heat like the others, put it into a container, add your cream to bring that temperature down and put it in the fridge. Now we're going to get working on these add-ins. Now to start with, we're going to go with the Tim Tam fudge. So take some of your chewy caramel Tim Tams and chop them up nice and small and just put them in a little container because we're going to use them in a second. In a pan, add your milk and your cream. Make sure you get all that lovely delicious cream out of there. And then add in your sugar and give that a nice little stir to dissipate that sugar and start that dissolving. Then add in your corn syrup. You can add golden syrup, which is what I use here. Corn syrup isn't available in the UK. Get that stirred together and then add in your cocoa powder. You need to bloom the cocoa powder, bring it up to a nice high temperature, but with this fudge and all fudges really for ice cream, you need to get it boiling, get it really nice and hot. And that will change the sugar structure so that it's nice and soft and gooey in your ice cream and doesn't go all icy. Once that's ready, turn the heat off, let it calm down for a minute or two, and then add in your chopped Tim Tams. Give it a nice stir and put it in a container ready to use later. Now, the milk chocolate fudge is quite similar to the Tim Tam fudge. You're adding your milk and your sugar, but here we're gonna add a little bit of coconut oil, and again, in with our corn syrup or golden syrup, depending on whereabouts in the world you are, get that stirred together, Add in your cocoa powder, let it get nice and hot, bring it to a good rolling boil, turn the heat off, and then add in your chopped milk chocolate. Give it a nice stir, make sure all that chocolate is completely melted, and take it off the heat and store that in a container. Finally, onto the caramel. So add your sugar to a pan and swirl it around. Don't stir this at all. Keep swirling on a gentle heat until all that sugar melts down until you've got this lovely caramel color here. At this stage, turn heat off and add in your butter. It might bubble up a little bit while you do this, so be careful. Get it nicely combined and then pop in your cream. I've used cold cream here, which is why it's reacted quite as violently as it has, but you can warm that cream up if you need to. Get it nicely mixed together and then put that in a container. We'll use that again later. That was a lot of ice cream and a lot of add-ins and it's taken me bloody ages to make. I mean, let's be fair, uh, we've got a freezer full of ice cream. It's never a bad thing. Let's get some of these scooped up. We'll do them individually and see how these things turned out. Anyone that's watched this channel for more than probably two weeks will know that I do all of these videos on Sunday morning. This is no different but this is special because I get to eat biscuits and ice cream. Never a bad thing. So, Murray River salted caramel biscuits. Now they're the same shape as the penguins. Tim Tams are made and were developed in competition with the UK penguin. The whole history thing, I'll put some of it up here or here and I mean, penguins are shockingly bad biscuits. How they even can compare to these? Penguins are horrid compared to these things. So let's try one. Really nice. Little bit chewy caramel inside. Not as much salt as I thought, but still really good, really soft. Let's see how the ice cream goes, whether it works. I've definitely put salt in that. Probably a little bit too much, but I'm happy with it. I'm just not sure other people would want that much salt. 
I'll adjust the recipes below to probably a, a more acceptable amount of salt for this sort of caramel. Caramel flavor is really nice. It's subtle, doesn't overpower. Some caramels are really strong and you lose track of what it is and it just becomes this hit of sugar. But this is really nice. The caramel obviously goes quite hard in the ice cream, but as it melts in your mouth, you get that little bit of salt come through in the actual physical caramel itself. Really nice. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? The coffee one, Dimbula coffee. Again, more biscuits. Such a shame. You can smell the coffee. They're really nice. Coffee cream. Looks like a darker biscuit. Yeah, that's really good. Let's um let's compare the ice cream. That is surprisingly close. The coffee flavour is surprisingly close. That's that is that has actually taken me back a little bit, but I mean, this is a great coffee ice cream. It's just a little bit chewy, but just the right amount. Good, strong coffee flavor. And that chocolate fudge that goes through there, nice little breakup, and that kind of imitates the chocolate going around the biscuit itself. That's really nice, really, really nice. Let's move on to the last one, which is the one that everybody voted for, the chewy caramel Tim Tam and ice cream combo. Right, let's try this one. Chocolate Tim Tam fudge. Chewy caramel ice cream, caramel swirl. Chewy caramel Tim Tams, chewy caramel ice cream. Overstabilized on purpose to create that chewy texture. The Tim Tam chocolate fudge breaks it up, little nice additions of those little crunchy bits in there. That's a really nice texture change. And the caramel ribbon throughout, also really nice. You get it all stuck in your teeth, so you're tasting it for ages. Three ice creams, these are bloody good ice creams. Tim Tam, you should take these and make them into something. Just remember that I gave you the idea. But I hope you've enjoyed this unique approach to Tim Tams. I hope you try some of these ice creams. If you like this approach to videos, let us know. I'm not probably gonna do them quite this complicated and big for a while, but we are gonna do some series videos in 2022. So if you're interested in what they'll be like, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.